Peace. Today is Friday Favorites. I hope you had an amazing week and I'm here to share lots of new makeup favorites from me. Um, pretty much from down from foundation to eyes to lips. Pretty much my whole makeup routine for the week I'm going to share with you guys and I'm wearing most of it today. Um, first off, you may or may not notice that my hair is a bit darker. Um, especially if I lift it, you can see that there's a lot of brunette underneath and then there's kind of blonde framing my face still and on the ends, but it's mostly more of a brunette. So I hope you can see that. I just got it done a few days ago and I am still getting used to it but I do really like it and I hope you guys like it too. Um, I'll probably gradually end up going back to blonde during summer but right now I'm going to keep it how it is now. So if you go to IMATS I'll probably be this kind of coloring in April. Anyways, let's get on to makeup favorites. First off I'm going to talk about my lip combo because we all know lips are my pretty much my favorite makeup products. So, um, other than the brights that I've been wearing, I've been wearing my Maybelline Vivids a lot still, um, and various other bright pops of color, but when I don't want to wear a bright, this is the lip combo I've been going to, and it's the Too Faced Lip Crown Lipstick in Spice Spice Baby. It's like this gold tube, and it's just this really pretty kind of rosy pink. And these lipsticks, the formula is incredible. They're super soft and creamy and they give such a pretty glossy finish even without lip gloss. So I just love them to death. So that's the color right there. And I do wear a gloss on top of it just because I like this combo. Sometimes I'll wear it by itself. But I've been wearing this Lorac gloss and this is their Lips with Benefit glosses in the color Ben. And... That's what it looks like. And it's just this really gorgeous creamy pink. A little bit like Turkish Delight, but I like it better. I just like the smell of it better and just how it goes on my lips. So that's it right there. So those two colors together is what I have on my lips today. I'll zoom in real quick. And I just really like it. It gives me kind of a sexy nudish pink pout. I really love it. So that's my favorite lip combo for the week. For foundation, I decided to try out my very first drugstore foundation. I've tried out plenty of BB creams from the drugstore, but I just really don't need a super amount of coverage. That probably annoys people, but I really don't. Um, I usually just use BB creams, but sometimes I like to have a really flawless complexion and face and I really want foundation. And I'm wearing this today and it is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I am in number 825 Buff Beige. The packaging is wonderful. It's a glass packaging. It has a pump. Just very nice for drugstore in my opinion. I got this for around $9 but it ranges from $9 to about $12 depending on where you get it. Um, and this is supposed to be a 3-in-1 product, meaning it's foundation, primer, and concealer. It's supposed to also be a stay-all-day formula, a matte finish, and it's supposed to give you full coverage. Now, I will say, I do feel like it gives full coverage. I don't think that you can skip concealer with this still. Like, I still have to put a little concealer under my eyes. Um, but I do feel like this is a super matte formulation. It keeps me shine free for hours and hours. Sometimes I blot still a little in my nose area, but it is gorgeous. I love the finish of it. It doesn't feel heavy on the face. It feels like my second skin, especially for a foundation and for a full coverage one at that. Also, it blends incredibly onto the skin when it's like effortless. I don't know if you guys realize this or have noticed this when you put on full coverage foundations, but a lot of the times when I've tried them, they don't blend very easily. Like, it's kind of harder to get it to get all into every area of my face and you kind of have to work in small areas with full coverage foundations. With this one, you don't. You have some time to work with it before it completely sets. So I really love that. Okay, I'm talking this to death. I should have done a separate review video on this. Um, but I really, really do love this and I definitely suggest this foundation if you want a full coverage matte foundation. Wouldn't recommend it probably for dry skin. It's more of uh, someone who has normal to oily skin. Um, very full coverage. I'll do a little swatch. 
don't want to waste it. That's how much I love it. I have literally been wearing this every day. So there is the coloring right there. And it's just, little goes a long way too. You don't really need a tremendous amount. And nine times out of 10, I've been wearing my Perfect Cover BB Cream from Misha in number 21. This has SPF 42 and PA++ protection, which is like the best sun protection you can get. Um, this is like a little sample size. I think I look a little pale with just this on, so in combination, it looks ugh, amazing. That's what I have on today. Perfect color match for me, this one is. Um, so I like having extra SPF. This has SPF 20, but it's not, it's just the broad spectrum SPF. It's not like great SPF. I don't know how to explain this. Someone else explained it way better on their channel and they like looked up and researched about how SPF, what kind of SPF is better for sun protection. I know for sure that this one with the PA++ has way better protection. So these together are my beautiful flawless foundation routine. If you want me to do a foundation routine, an updated one, let me know and I can definitely do that with these. Moving on to concealers, I have rediscovered a favorite. This is by Sonia Castro. You can find this at Target and it is the concealer palette in the color Hidden Agenda. Um, so it's a little messy, sorry. You can probably tell which color is mine. <laughs> it's the one right there, the lightest. And then I do use the setting powder here. Uh, it's super creamy, definitely stays all day for me, especially when I use the setting powder. And I do put this under my eyes. I used to think it was too heavy, but I just pat it really gently, a very small amount, and it does great with this um, foundation because I don't need that much concealer with this foundation. Um, so I have been definitely loving using that this week for my highlight. Oh my gosh. Heaven in a bottle for a highlight. This is Leo Ellie's Blooming Shimmer Pearl Base. And I did keep the box to show you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? The packaging alone has me melting. Um, so I did get this online. There is a branch of Leo Ellie in Texas now. And you can order online from them. So that's amazing. And I'm going to link all the information. Everything I mentioned today will be in the bottom bar. So make sure to go there if you would like to purchase this. And like I said, this is a shimmering pearl base, and it does exactly that. It's an illuminating primer, so you can use this, mix it with your foundation to give you an all-over glow, but how I like to use it is only on my cheekbones as a cream um, highlighter. So I'll show you what it looks like. The smallest amount, oh my god, I just poured out way too much. The smallest amount goes a long way, so this would be too much. But that's what it looks like, and I'm going to... Isn't that just gorgeous? It's like this pinky pearl highlight. Oh, I do have it on my cheekbones today. I hope you can see that. It's just amazingly gorgeous. And I've gotten so many compliments this week, people asking me what I have as my highlight. And it has been this. I did use it in my Cupid's bow today too. And I'm in love with it. It's such a big product too that um, because such a little goes a long way, I won't have to repurchase it for a long time. So that's what the bottle looks like. It has like this really cute pink metallic lid too, and it has like a little squeeze top like that. So love it, and would definitely recommend this to you guys if you want a really pretty glowy finish all over, or if you just want a really gorgeous glowy kind of champagne pink highlights. Love it. I like it more than the Benefit High Beam even, definitely. Sometimes, not all the time, I will set my cream highlighter from Leo Ellie with my MAC Mineralized Finish skin finish and soft and gentle and I did wear this today set it with this and this just gives such a gorgeous glow like a little goes a long way again with this it's right there oh it's so pretty so if anything if you're gonna buy a skin finish I would definitely say this one it's so pretty Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that with my CoverGirl foundation, I've been using my um, Beauty Blender, which I did use today, or my F80 um, Flat Top Kabuki from Sigma. Both give me such a flawless coverage and look. Um, as my eyeshadow base, I have been loving the Inked in Pink color from the Color Tattoo line from Maybelline. This was from the um, Metal Collection. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people mention this, and I'm like, dang it, why didn't I tell people that it's my favorite too, because now I feel like I'm copying, but really it is. I've been wearing it a ton for a couple weeks now, and I use a very small amount just on my lid area, not into the crease at all. It's just this gorgeous metallic pink, goes so nice under um, kind of 
champagne colors or any colors that have a touch of pink it just brings it out so much oh I don't think it's gonna show up too good but there it's right there it's a very soft pink it's not overly overly whelming it's not overwhelmingly pink where it's gonna be like BAM pink in your face it's just a beautiful softness to the eye so love 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 this in its drugstore and then this eyeshadow guys it's like the heavens parted when I put this on my eyes. <laughs> I was like, oh, because it's so gorgeous. Um, this is by Too Faced, and it is in the color Magic Mushroom. And it's an intense eyeshadow from them. I do have it in the single pan form. I'm not sure if this is in any of their palettes, but oh, it's amazing. So this is what the color looks like. In pan, it doesn't really look like anything like incredibly wow. But, oh my gosh, there's so much dimension to the shadow, and I do use this with my finger and pat it onto my lid because it gives even more, um, bam, like it just gives more pigmentation that way. I'm going to swatch it next to it, and then I'm also going to put some on top of the inked and pink so you can see how it looks. And maybe I'll even zoom into my eye because I'm wearing this today on my lid. Okay, so this is it alone right there, and this is it over the inked and pink. Is that not gorgeous? There's like some gold in it. There's pinks. There's like purpleness to it. It is so pretty and I don't even think it's showing up that well on camera. I'll zoom into my eyes right now so you can see. I also use the Naked Basics palette, which I've been using a ton this week. Looks like this. Latest addition to the Naked line of shadows from Urban Decay. And the shadows I used today in my crease are Naked 2 and Faint, these two right here. Naked 2 all in my crease and Faint just in the outer corner. And it's like my perfect kind of sultry eye right now. I love it so much and it gives just a really pretty glow to my eyes. Oh, this shadow is incredible. And I actually got this shadow from BeautyBridge.com, which is an amazing um, beauty makeup site. So check that out down below if you would like this amazing shadow. Um, they do have other colors, of course, too, but I definitely suggest this one. That's all for my beauty favorites, guys. So now I'm just going to show you one cute little adorable favorite that I have that my mom actually found. I think she got it at TJ Maxx. Oh, no, I think she got it at Marshalls. And I don't really know if you guys would want you guys would want this, but of course I'm in love with it because it's a little honeybee pot, and it's like a honeycomb with little bees on it and a little flower and a little bee. Isn't that so cute? And it opens up and it's actually like you know to act to put actual honey in, but I'm obviously not gonna do that. I'm gonna leave it in my room and it's gonna hold something I don't know what yet um, and it's by Honey Meal or Meow Honey Meow so that's the name right there but isn't that adorable I had to show you guys so that is it for my favorites this week guys I hope you enjoyed and hope you have an amazing weekend if you're curious about my necklace it is from luxcraving.com it's a bubble necklace love it I love this color combination okay I'm rambling see you guys later wearing this Misha BB cream underneath the foundation because this does not have SPF in Oh, it does. Just kidding. And I think that's it for my favorites. It is. No, it's not. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 almost broke it. <laughs> Leave it to me. Okay.